This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Tuesday means it's Type 2 or Standard Tuesday, and we have a fun one to look at today. This is Boros Visitation, basically a Boros Tokens deck that's looking to kind of almost combo off with the help of Divine Visitation, turning some relatively underpowered 1-1 tokens into massive 4-4 Flying Angel tokens, and it comes to us from Ian Klein MTG, who took it to a 5-0 finish in a competitive competitive standard league on Magic Online. So congrats to Ian Klein, MTG, on a super sweet deck. A quick reminder before we break down Boros Visitation for standard. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see it main to videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So let's talk some Boros Visitation, starting with our namesake enchantment, Divine Visitation. So Divine Visitation, it's only a two of, because additional copies don't really do anything, and in theory, our deck can win without it, it's kind of like a normal, well, normal, quote-unquote, Boros Tokens deck, but it's also the most powerful card in our deck. Upgrading any token we would make from whatever it would be into a 4-4 four, four Angel with Flying and Vigilance, and our deck is overloaded with things that put tokens on the battlefield. So, in theory, we play Divine Visitation on turn 5, and on turn 6, we have potential to just win the game, or at least make a ton of sweet angels. So, how are we comboing off with Divine Visitation? And combo piece number one. It's a little janky, but man is it sweet with Divine Visitation. Tilanali Summoner. So, a 2-mana 1-1, one, one, which isn't that exciting, but when it attacks, you can pay red and X, and you make a 1-1 one, one red elemental creature that's tapped and attacking for each mana that you pay. So, if we play Divine Visitation on turn 5, turn 6, we attack with that Tilanali Summoner, dump all of our mana into it, we are going to get not 5-1-1 one, one elementals. We're going to get 5-4-4 five, four, four angel creatures with flying that are tapped and attacking, that's 20 damage to the opponent's face. It's basically a two-card combo kill, assuming our opponent doesn't have removal or flying blockers, but Divine Visitation, untap, turn six, till an alley summoner attack, make a ton of angels win the game on the spot. So that's kind of combo piece number one. We also have a lot of backup token producers, cards that put multiple tokens on the battlefield. Heroic Reinforcements, a pretty good aggressive card on its own, making a couple of tokens, pumping the team, giving stuff ace. Well, if we got Divine Visitation, it's not 1-1 Soldiers, it's two hasty 4-4 four, four Angels with Vigilance, which is a ton of damage for just 4 mana, hitting for like 10 damage out of nowhere with the pumping included. History of Benalia, fine early game just to put some blockers on the battlefield, and even crazier in the late game, where we're going to get two 4-4s four, across two turns for just 3 mana, so really powerful token production there. Wrapping up our token production, we also have Legion War Boss, which just makes a casual 4-4 four, four Angel every single turn, which is pretty insane on a three mana creature. And then Legion's Landing, just a one mana Sarah Angel that if we flip it around, we have a land that makes Sarah Angels if we have Divine Visitation out. So all these cards are relatively good on their own. Maybe not Tilanali Summoner. I mean, that's, that's okay. It's fine. But it's not as good as the rest of our cards. But most of our cards are good on their own. So we can win like a normal token deck. But then all of our cards become supercharged and incredibly powerful once we stick our Divine Visitation. As far as the rest of the deck, Adanto Vanguard, it's just a good threat. It attacks for three, it can attack through blockers because of the indestructibility. It's hard to deal with, really annoying for some decks that don't have very specific removal spells. Experimental Frenzy, one of my new favorite cards in Standard, can just play a ton of cards off the top of our deck. Uh, so a good way to generate card advantage, play through sweepers and the like. Shock and Lightning Strike give us a bit of removal that can also go with a face if we need to. Mana base-wise, a single Memorial to Glory, kind of our last combo piece for Divine Visitation. We can 
sack it for four mana and get two four four angels instead of the two soldiers if we have out our divine visitation otherwise some dual lands some basic lands in the sideboard one of the weird twists of this deck is we basically have a normal boros deck hiding in our sideboard takali honor guard really good against golgarian specific shutting down enter the battlefield triggers tajik aurelia even lyra so we can kind of take out all of our token stuff if we want to or at least a good portion of it and play like a relatively normal boros kind of big aggro slash mid-range style deck with some really powerful evasive threats lyra super good against aggro as well otherwise a bunch of removal deafening clary on citywide bus some sweepers banefire huge chunks of damage to the face and uncounterable and that is boros visitation for standard and that's been our instant deck tech for today so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon Thanks for watching the video! If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.